Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Aries. We have Sugar Daddy. Oh, here we go. Children in bad. Ooh! Who's trying to use somebody for money? Be careful, guys. Somebody is trying to use somebody for money here. It could be the fa mother or father of your children. Um, it could be somebody that, yeah, let's see here. Friendship. It could be actually a friend of yours. It may not even be romantic. It could be a friend that's wanting you to help them financially. Clarify, sugar daddy. Provoked. Triggers angry, not talking, and bitter. So somebody feels like they're they're on they're at odds or they're not talking to somebody that helped them that was very generous to them or it's like somebody feels like they're on bad terms with somebody that was like really beneficial to their life type thing here somebody that has money they have their shit together clarify bad intentions yeah disco ball what is this about somebody um what clarify children we have abundance see somebody may want you to like help them they may have kids and they may need some money or they want some type of stability for their kids or something like that or they need to maintain stability for their children clarify friendship concerned nervous anxious worry careful approach they may try to approach you for friendship first but they may or this i don't know somebody's taking like a careful approach when it comes to you or this could be you Starting off as friends or something like that. Or this could even be somebody that you just recently met. That has like an ulterior motive or something like that. So what is Sugar Daddy and Provoked? Teacher? Yeah. You have um advisor, mentor. This person needs your help with something. But why is Provoked here? Culture. Yeah, differences, traditions, beliefs, values. So the fact that you do have money... Yeah, witchy ways, manifestation, magic. Somebody is a little bit, if you're, if they know you're spiritual or you're into witchy things, they feel some type of way about that. Silver lining. See, yeah, somebody's realizing that you were a blessing in disguise. It's like, it's, instead of like being thankful for having, being thankful for having somebody like you in their life, it actually triggered this person. Like they should have looked at you as somebody that they could learn from or be a, like an advisor or they could, you could teach them something. But I feel like actually, yeah, like they couldn't see the benefit of having somebody in your life, somebody like you in their life. They were looking at it in a negative aspect. Like they were, it triggered them. They were bitter about it. Like, oh, I don't, I don't have that. And they have more than me. Like this is somebody that literally was jealous of you. Like you, they were, you were like, and you, you probably were not even trying to, you, from what I can see here, you guys were actually very beneficial to this person. Like, you were a good person in their life. And instead of being thankful for that, they, this triggered them and made them bitter towards you. Like, they were jealous. This is a jealous person. Clarify bad intentions and disco ball. We have enlightenment and budgeting. So, you guys feel like you've, be, you've become a, you've become a, I'm having a hard time getting my words out in this reading. So, somebody doesn't want you to know this. Somebody's trying to stop this message from getting out here. But it's almost like you guys have been enlightened to the fact that somebody betrayed you or that they did not have good intentions to you. So I feel like you feel like, what about budgeting? Like you know that this person is having financial issues. So like, are you, yeah, you know something about their money situation. So you're questioning their motives. Clarify this of all though, because I don't know what that's about. Sweet gesture. Somebody may want to take you out or something like that. They may want to ask you out on a date or ask you to a part, like ask you out to a, like a, a wedding or a special occasion or have some fun with you. But yeah, like they're going to come in and they may even try to <sighs> wrapped up and we have work obsessed consumed fully involved interested somebody's really focused on work so what's that do with sweet gesture and disco ball in the closet what this person wanted to have some fun with you or spend some time with you without you finding out something that they got going on yeah the bride that they're married lord what about the bride the others yeah this person is married or they have you in a love triangle or something like that 
they could be like partying or hanging around with some people that don't have good intentions for them that they're trying to hide from these people that they're wanting what are they trying to hide from these the others creativity what are they trying to hide from them trial and error new ways student inexperienced and mistakes somebody's trying to hide from these other people that they made a mistake they did something wrong yeah radiance confidence inner light knowing your worth oh is somebody trying to play it off like if you're staying away from this person they're trying to play it off as like there's a there's a different reason for why you're staying away from them when you're actually staying away from them because you're no you know your worth and you're focused on your work or something like that tell me more about the others worth the fight not giving up easily second chance fight for it and or if open Ex expose vulnerable no boundaries and weak so what's going to do with you elegance graceful dignity classy and sophisticated yep and sunny days so happy times things look good for you so i don't really know what's up with this person one-sided yeah breadcrumbing unfair unrequited unequal and defensive like somebody is literally feel some type of way about you because they feel like they don't they're not on your level they can't give to you in the way that you give to them that makes them triggered instead of being like wow i really got a catch like this person wants to have something to do with me like or they want to date me they want to be in a relationship with me it's like this person they don't like to have people around them that are doing better than them. And I don't like that energy at all. When you can actually really benefit from having people around you that, you know, are doing better than you in life or making more money than you. Or that can be, a, a you know, I feel like that, that influence rubs off on you. It can, you know, motivate you to want to level up and do better and things like that for the right, per if you're in the right mindset. Unfortunately, this person's in a toxic mindset. And encountering somebody like you has made them feel extremely insecure. I don't know. So what is up with children in abundance? What's children in abundance? Ripped open. What about that? Ripped open and creativity. Somebody's going to express something to you. Past life. What about the past? The star dreams fulfilled hope wishes re healing and renewal so is somebody coming in to express something to you with hopes that you guys can renew a connection what about children though the surfer overcoming challenges facing fears ups and downs this could be inner child stuff yeah second guessing needs more info unsure change of mind doubt yeah network productivity all connected creation hmm what about friendship and concern? Cold serving? Somebody feels like you're, somebody's getting nervous. Nervous. I'm having a hard, I'm telling you, I'm having a hard time talking. Somebody feels like somebody's becoming detached, loose, unresponsive, and it's making somebody nervous. But what does that do with friendship though? Repairs? Yeah, this, this definitely could be a friend for some of you. Yeah, this definitely could be a friend. This doesn't even have to be romantic. Just a friend that knows that you make good money or that you're very stable and that you have helped them before. You've always been willing to help them type thing. So they want to try to work on a friendship with you or a relationship with you or trying to rebuild things. If it's romantic, they want to start off as friends or try to rebuild a connection with you. What are they concerned about? They're concerned because you're detaching. What about Rainbow? Love struck. This person maybe feels like graduation like you've you've leveled up way past them type thing they feel like you found better like you found a better friend you found a better romantic interest than them yeah wedding that maybe yeah partnership like you've gotten into a serious relationship or that's where you're headed or you're working on that with somebody so what about memory so this person maybe always comes back when they think that you're about to like replace them yeah and they know that this person will always come back to you because this person feels like they will never find another you. So this this is somebody that's probably never going to leave you alone. Type energy. What else do they need to know about this? Is there anything else? Let's bring it together. Why is this so important for them to know at this time? I feel like it's because somebody's coming towards you with not so great intentions. Tell me about this person's intentions. Burning fire. So they definitely have a lot of passion for you. A lot of desire for you um and we have soulmate so somebody still feels this connection this person feels like you're the one for them give me a few more
staying in, isolation, not now, downtime and avoiding. And we have sadness. So somebody is sad, unhappiness, regret, heartbreak, and pessimism. The star, dreams fulfilled, hope, healing, okay. And rainbow. I don't know, guys. I feel like things are going well for you. Every time I'm asking in my head, like, what does this mean for my collective? It looks good. We have dreams fulfilled, hope, wishes, healing, renewal, blessings, opportunities, synchronicities, and signs. So I feel like it's good for you. Somebody is sad over you. They still have they they feel like you're the one for them. They feel like they have a lot of passion for you still. This person's avoiding you though. Why are they avoiding you? Or they're staying away from you right now? The power couple card. What about that? Prep period and one sided. Because this person feels they know that they can't give you equal give and take. You guys have most likely set some type of boundary with this person where you told them like, look, like if you're not going to be able to give to me in the way that you give, the, give to me in the way that I give to you, you need to get your stuff, your shit together and then try. We maybe can, maybe we can try again. Maybe not guaranteed, but somebody is sad that you're avoiding them. It's like, it's triggering them because it's making this person feel very less than it's making them feel very insecure. Like, oh, wow. You know, like the collective doesn't want anything to do with me. That means I'm not good enough type thing. But yeah, they'll be back though. They will be back. The I'm telling you, this card keeps coming out. They will always be back because they feel like you're very valuable. They feel like you're a quality or you're a real person. You're one of a kind and you're a cut. So this person will always return, even if you guys spend some time apart. But what is witchy ways? Second guessing. Need more. You think this person's a, what is this? Spellbound manifestation. Some of you guys manifested this. Are they coming? What are they coming back? In what energy? Online activity. They don't reach out to you online. What about online activity? Like a movie. Fairy tale too good to be true. You're gonna get some type of communication from this person, and whatever the or whatever this is, you're gonna get it's something you manifested. Someone's having like a change of mind, a change. It's like they feel like you're somebody that they need around them. Like when before it triggered them that you were doing so much better than them. Now they're starting to feel like, okay, I need to surround myself with people like the collective, not feel intimidated or triggered by them. They're the type of people that I need around me, whether this is a friend, like I said, or a romantic interest. So I do feel like you're going to reach out to this person. They're going to come towards you and say something that you're not expecting, or you're going to feel like it's too good to be true. Yeah. Messy. What about messy though? Messy and change. Look. So this person was living like a very unhealthy life, okay? Addictions, wildlife, unhealthy sex life. But we have change here. Shift, expansion, cycles, development, and transitions. So somebody's wanting to transition out of that. And you're going to be like, I thought when pigs fly, this person will want to change. Yes, making a sweet gesture. And the bride. This, this does look romantic, though. I'm going to just be honest with you. It looks like somebody is going to have a change in perspective where they realize that they need somebody like you in their life and they need to stop feeling intimidated by you. Like they need there's something about their ego getting bruised by the fact that they feel like you're so much, they put you on this pedestal. They're going to try to fix things with you. Yeah. This person has a lot of feelings for you. Head over heels, devoted, intense feelings and love. Look at this wedding partnership, marriage, serious relationship. Yep. Making a bolt move towards you, but it's going to happen in divine timing. And I think that you're not going to even be expecting this. How soon is this? What needs to happen before this? I know this person opposites. Yeah, at odds, incompatible, clashing, contradictory. This person has to stop. Yeah, hard to fool, discernment, reason, and observing. This person has to stop trying to like oppose you or something. Like they keep trying to go against you, like not work with you. Awakening. Yeah, they still got some learning and growing to do for sure. What about the others, though? Because I'm sick of that. There's some people that are interfering. We have the others in Mountain Climb, and this card says challenges, delays, blocks, not an easy path. So there are some other people that are involved. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting. What are they? How do they feel about these other people, though? I feel like they are toxic. I feel like these people are toxic. Cat spirit, we have independence, freedom, and healthy boundaries. They feel like they need to set boundaries with these people. Sunny days. What about, they're getting clarity about something creativity and mature woman they feel like they need to express something to it, it could be a mother figure feminine energy female influence and partner what about that mature woman or, or maybe this is you 
Maybe they feel like they're getting clarity about something that they need to distance themselves from some other people and get closer to you. It's very clear here. Like that's it's like they've been holding on to these people or they've been associated with these people or this other person or whoever this is. But they're starting to realize like that's not going to get me anywhere in life. Like where I want to go, I need to surround my pe myself with people that are on the same like frequency or, or same level. I already have gotten to that point that I want to get to. But they need to understand that they can't just come into your life and just be a taker too. They have to contribute. All right, let's get a few more cards or let's get some tarot actually. Huh. So somebody's going to leave the toxic shit behind and decide that they want to be more like they want to they can be like, teach me your ways. Show me how to get to your level. <laughs> we have Ace of Swords. Okay. And the Ace of Wands. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. And the Ace of Cups. Guys, three Aces. You have a reciprocal balance, new beginning coming in. Why was this person not wanting to give to you before? That's what I need to know. Why were they not wanting to give to you? They were not ready to settle down. They were being a player. They wanted to party. They wanted to have fun. They didn't want anything too serious. Yeah, they were unstable. They were fickle. We have strength, Leo energy. And what about strength? The three of cups and the knight of cups. I think this person was holding on to a third party or something like that. Or they, like, they just like to party and have fun. Like... What is the Knight of Cups? The Six of They love a lot of attention. This person's a charmer. They like getting attention from multiple people. How's that working out for them? The Wheel of Fortune. Well, Spirit says it's changing. Yeah, something's changing. The Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Justice, and the King of Swords. So somebody's feeling like they need to make something right with you. Queen of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, the Justice card, and King of Swords. Someone's getting clarity that they need to make something right with you. Who's this Queen of Wands? The Three of Wands and the Page of Wands. Who Waiting on communication or what is this? Waiting on, yeah, the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups. What's that do with the Moon? This person doesn't know if you've read, really just cut them off. Like somebody's realizing they took you for granted. I don't know. They took you for granted. You were a really good person to have in their life. And they chose toxicity over you like it's what is making this person have a change in perspective though the ten of wands is it because you're releasing them ten of wands the four of yep somebody feels like you really you let them go you let them go you release them they did too much you got tired and now they feel like you're ignoring them they feel like you're focused on elsewhere your focus is elsewhere yeah they feel like they missed an opportunity yeah the seven of swords because they were being deceptive yeah the sun their deception came to light yeah, their deception about what? The chariot. What were they doing? The five of pentacles and the page of pentacles. The world and the eight of cups. Something's coming to an end, though. Something's getting abandoned here. The king of cups. The Page of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. Somebody wants a new opportunity with you. The Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords. Eh. Win at all costs type energy. But why? I want to know what children is though. This person's childish. What is um? What is children? Because I don't know about that. The Three of Waiting on what? Okay, I'm gonna send up my cards. What about children? The, somebody's waiting on communication. The sun. For something to become clear or be brought to light. Yeah, page of pentacles. Oh, the ace of swords. About what? The six of pentacles. Somebody could be waiting to see if a kid is theirs and they have to pay child support. That could be for a small few of you. That they're waiting to find out if a kid is theirs or something like that. Or something in regards to children. And it has something to do with money. 
like will they have to pay child support will they be getting child support will they whatever the circumstances are tell me more the five of wands the ten of cups and the four of cups conflict over what the emperor and the ten of pentacles okay i keep dropping the card out before we got the seven of wands okay and the empress the star and the devil the king of wands and the eight of pentacles working on what somebody wants to work on a connection with you there's something here what is the seven of wands when it comes to these two people coming together what's the seven of wands the eight of wands eight of wands and the death card somebody needing to end something yeah queen of pentacles needing to end something yeah six of swords move on from something let something go heal from it for some of you let's see what else do they need to know about the situation i am going to be extending this So they need to know about this spirit we have pause and reflect be mindful of your self-talk and solve your problems with the fullest mental clarity stagnation release and stillness huh good gossip your reputation is very good at this time or you're being talked about in a positive way reputation image and well known ascension you're shifting from one reality to a higher vibrational reality time to soar to new heights hmm we have creative force that, are, that keeps coming out creativity your creative your creativity is endless the creative power you hold within you is far greater than you realize okay clarify pause and reflect guarded Needing time to feel secure, cautious, worry. So I don't know if some, there's an offer on the table for you. Like somebody's coming in to offer you something, but you guys are very, why can't I not talk here? Cautious and weary when it comes to this offer. Whoever this is that's coming towards you. Like there's a guarded energy. Or maybe somebody needs to realize, think about why they're so guarded towards a certain person or something like that. How about good gossip? It's over. Sometimes there's no next time. Good chances. Nope. No chances. The relationship is over. Failure too late. Opportunity is gone. So somebody feels like, I don't know if they're hearing things about you. Like there's good gossip about you or something like that. Somebody's talking good about you and somebody's realizing that they missed out on somebody. I don't know. Huh. Reputation, image, and well-known. Clarify ascension. Stop. This love is not for you. Move on, toxic, incompatible. Somebody's moving on from something that is no longer for them. Or maybe it never was for them. Creative forces. We have wish granted. Yeah. What you ask for is coming true. Meditate on your desired outcome to assist in your manifestation process. Miracles, good luck, and prayers. I told you, whatever this is that's coming in for you is something you manifested. So somebody's talking good about you, but something is over. Marriage. What about it's over, though? Maybe there's some people that are encouraging this person to be with you. Or that they're they're telling you not to miss it, telling them not to miss an opportunity with you. Wedding bells are ringing. Commitment, promise, next level, merging, union, monogamy. Yeah, take pride in your accomplishments. Celebrate and enjoy your life. Fate is on your side. It's over. Message? I don't know, guys. It's like something is over, but somebody's going to reach out to you. Somebody says, feels like they still have something to say to you. Wants to talk on speaking terms, information, text, call, expression, communication, text, or communication issues. About what? Door to power. Your courage to stand up for what you believe in will bring you great blessings to your life, ruling power, respect, and wealth. Like, there is somebody that has a lot of respect for you. Yeah, drama, though. What? 
emotions are running high arguments conflict what is this argument about what is this drama about love offer yeah it's like some type of argument over a love offer is small steps so yeah toxic energy competition opposing views love will be reciprocated ready to give so somebody's ready to give to this but i see a slow and steady progression between you and this person but i also see there being some drama like you may end up getting into a fight with this person or something like that who's fighting this is drama energy communicate yeah it's like there's gonna be like an argument who's about what though S suckers fools for each other there's gonna be some people that don't want the two of you together oh you may end up getting communication from somebody else like that's not this person that's mad the two of you are together it says fool there's gonna be some people bothered by this fools for each other mutual feelings into each other two hearts completely invested two against the world so somebody's mad that you guys are like so close to one another like there, yeah, there's going to be somebody that's going to try to block this from moving forward. It will not be an easy path because there's going to be a lot of people that don't want you and this person together. Why is that though? Why is it that they don't, they're mad about the two of you coming together? It's a date. Why are they mad about this? Music, tune into your heart, fun times, dance, listen, harmonious. They just seem like miserable people. Wants to put in the effort, but why, why is someone mad? Why is somebody mad about this? Protection. Protect your energy and guard yourself against the people and things that drain you. So is somebody going to be mad that the two of you are together because they're not going to be able to either use you anymore or use uh, that person anymore? There was there's somebody around you or people around you or people around them that are that are vampires. They drain, they use, and they know that the two of you coming together, they won't be able to do that anymore. Maybe you guys have been dealing with somebody that lets somebody use them or lets people use them and walk on them and they don't stick up for themselves. But being around you, you're teaching this person or showing this person how to stand in your power, how to stand in their power. So once they start really dealing with you, they're going to start changing. They're going to start, you know, not allowing certain things or it's like they're going to be mad because they either can't use you or use this person anymore. Wow. Epiphany. Yeah, the answers will come. Revelation, discovery, vision, realization, inspiration, insight about what epiphany about what poor choices so somebody's realizing they didn't choose right yeah think again before making any decisions at this time caution is needed there's a hidden problem somebody's realizing they didn't choose the right people or the, they chose the wrong person yeah what is this poor choices unexpected expect the unexpected sudden unpredictable so you're what you're not expecting this person like yeah clarify unexpected and then i'm taking it to the extended <laughs> in the air so this situation where but who what is it's over here the devil somebody's ending something that was codependent and toxic and what does that mean for my collective wide open so somebody's eliminating something from their life that was keeping the situation between the two of you blocked or keeping them closed off to you and it's like they're ending that toxic thing and it says the path before you is clear your desires and intentions are supported by the universe so whatever was blocking the two of you from coming together is being cleared in that situation where you didn't know what the future held for you and this person you're going to be seeing you have an unexpected unpredictable outcome happening when it comes to you and this person yeah okay but there is going to be some people that don't want the two of you together yeah time to get off the ride on and off yeah you it's been like a person you've been on and off with or it's been unpredictable you've had some good times and bad times with this person but yeah we have secrets here we go what about secrets hurtful events they, this is somebody that also kept something from you they hid something from you they, they possibly did betray you they disappointed you they broke your heart but it says Keep the momentum going, whether big or small steps. Keep pushing for what you want. Fast, haste, and charging ahead. I don't think that it's going to be easy between you and this person. Because they did, like, hurt you or keep something secret from you. You're going to be worried that this person's wearing a mask with you. It's like, they since they've hurt you, I just see you and this person kind of having, like, some ups and downs. Or, like, or like you guys, I don't know, momentum. Or you have been, like, on this repeating cycle or like on and off relationship with them but spirit says something is changing something is going to be able to progress now yeah alchemy 
The path you're on is about to go through a very powerful transformation, transition, changing, and shift, confirmation. And then we have at home, a place that the heart belongs to be. Comfort, happy, foundation, easy. So you're about to have a lot of stability within this connection with you and this person. You guys may get a house together. You may start living together. You may start a family together. Yeah, but it's like they got to cut out. They may even be cutting off family members to be with you. Yep. Spirit says, all you got to do is keep doing what you've been doing. And it says, your goodwill will come back to you tenfold. Generosity, windfall. So you guys feel like you were, you were very giving to this person. You're very, you gave a lot to them. And you may feel like it was in vain, but Spirit is saying it wasn't. And you're going to see that um, going forward if you continue on this path. So we're going to continue on this path. So we're going to continue on.